Kids and cadets, welcome back. Welcome back to Tommy time. So, got a lot to discuss today. Busy day. Been messing with some repairs. I have not heard from my elderly scrapper. I go to his location. He, um, I think he'll be 80 this year, actually. He does it a couple days a week. He called me today, said, hey, I got something for you. I've got a big um, lawnmower for you. So I'm thinking maybe something like a commercial 30-inch or something or other like that. So I says, oh, okay. I said, gasoline? He says, yeah, gasoline. He says, I also have some weed eaters for you if you want those. He didn't tell me about the uh, hedger until I got there. He said, oh, I got this too. So he drags this thing out. First thing I notice is the rear wheels are, are, are wonky. The way he had it, um, the rear wheels weren't turned and he was dragging. And what the deal is, is the um, little tab is broken off the other side. So the uh, wheel was hitting the frame here like that and not moving so I saw what the issue was dropped it down something like that so the, the tabs totally missing so I says okay that's got to be rectified so he he went ahead and started it he didn't say anything on the phone about it running so it did start let me start it for you kids and cadets just a teaser, Mr. Cluck's going to get thrown off of here. Mr. Snake's going to go for the wild ride. Okay, what do we want to do? Fuel's on. We'll look at this. He showed me, oh, look, a full tank of fuel. And um, it's not past your little indicator there. The fuel isn't, so that's that's good. They didn't overfill it. There's still an air gap. You don't overfill it past this bottom mark on that indicator. So the fuel's at the right level. Let me pull on this thing, and you can see. And then we'll go through what it is even. It's a Honda-powered something, MTD. I don't see any other names on it. Okay. So you saw the life was shaking itself here. Shaking itself to death. So he did that for about a minute and I thought, oh my word, this thing is got issues I knew it would be a blade issue so let's first we'll do model numbers and all that jazz and then I'll turn you over I got another one here ready to go so it's the Honda GCV 160 is the engine front wheel drive you know that it says it's an MTD and let me get down here <clears throat> MTD makes a lot of different stuff so it's the um, 1 2 Alpha Victor Bravo 2 Romeo Quebec yeah Quebec 719 serial 1 Alpha 118 Kilo Charlie zero eight seven three so it's an mtd is what they're calling it cleveland ohio so no bag with it, it the um, handle's a little funky they got it set up in the lowest hole it's um, set up for a midget or a small person you're not supposed to say midget anymore a little person so what else can I show you oh I can show you model year 
on the EPA sticker. I'm all screwed up over here on my list of what I'm doing. 2017. So I kind of looked at the oil. I, it didn't appear to be overfilled. Used. So, oh, I didn't notice all that peeling paint. So that's that. So I, I had disassembled two mowers last year. The uh, decks had rotted out. The engines were falling through. So I saved the fronts and the backs. So here's the um, back of one of them. It's just a regular pusher, no trap door. So my theory is... I put the wheels up next to each other. Wheels are a different color, but we can rectify that. Same, same size. So I'm, I'm thinking the axle's gonna be sa the same, and then we have our tab that's in place. The tab's missing on the Honda. So what I wanna do is turn this thing around and remove the axle. Push these two tabs in and fish the axle out. Then once we do that, we can remove these wheels and put the matching wheels on the used axle. So we're going to do that. That's our next project. I've done a video on how to get these out. You just push these two tabs in and fish the axle out. Let me get up here and we're going to do the looky look on the blade. 2017 Honda. I'll turn it over and you can see why this thing danced the Charleston. This thing is really chewed up on the blade. I don't know how the wheel adjuster got broken back here. But I can see, um, see the broken off tab right there. That's where it should be. Okay, let me pull the plug wire, just in case. So this thing needs a bath. Air filter didn't look um, terribly bad. It's got a NGK plug, so nobody's screwed with that. But look at this thing bent down here. Let me get it off and we'll compare it to the new new blade so I had um, gotten a 12 pack of these Oregon blades it's going to be the same number the 198049 is the bow tie 21s I believe I got a whole six and six here I think that's what I bought but here's a a rotary number 156423 the OEM 21 inch bow tie is the 942-0741 we'll get this one off and we'll compare length I don't know what he hit or what what happened here but let's try to rectify this with a, a new blade and a used axle tabby thingy I'm guessing it's the original blade I think he just wore the shit out of it and then finally he had a rock here and that was the end of it. This thing vibrated so bad. Harvey, the homeowner, I guess, was not qualified to go to Lowe's and pick up another blade. Let's compare blade length. 
match up the center hole. Here we have the uh, bent end. And what's this side look like? Well, this one isn't so bad. It's almost out to the end, but some sandblasting there. This, this side took more of a beating. <clears throat> kind of funny, huh? So if he used the machine from the get-go, I would say he probably got his money's worth out of this thing. No maintenance, no blade. I don't know if he changed the air filter or not. Landscaping crew just went by. 16-foot trailer full of fine-looking power equipment. Throw some grease on here. Just to help Henrietta, the homeowner, if she buys it, she can get the blade off. I think it'll um, be a heck of a lot smoother. What do you think? So I think we're just going to plow ahead. I'm going to start disassembling the wheels and the axle. And then all we'll have to do is uh, look at the air filter and wash this thing. Okay, so that's good and tight. What do we want to do? We want to turn this thing over. Kind of go to work on the um, replacement axle, I think. Get this thing off. While I still have it on a stable platform, I'm going to remove the, the wheels now. And I think it's a 14, 14 or 15, 15. Fifteen's loose, but I'm going to go with it. I don't think it's, uh, yeah, I know it's not 5 8 that's too big. Okay, or is it nine, nine sixteenths? It is nine sixteenths. So how are you guys doing? Getting ready for season, fixing a lot of stuff. Put those wheels aside. Axle's kind of rusty. Okay, I'm going to get two large screwdrivers. Get my big head out of the way so you can see I'm going to push those tabs in and remove the axle. Oh, I got a guy coming here. Oh, he's delivering. I think it's Timu. I thought it might be a guy looking to buy a mower. How's it going? Good. Have a great night. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's Timu. 
So I'll look at that crap later. Okay. Two big screwdrivers. Kind of push these tabs in and coach the axle out like so. Lift up on it gently as you squish the butterfly wings in. Probably a little WD-40 or oil would would not hurt since the axle's rusty. Okay, what I should have did here is lift it up on the tab because it's in a notch. And when you're trying to lift it up, you can't lift it past the tab that it's sitting on. So we got that off. So the other one was missing the tab. I don't know if it broke off or he hit a branch with it and it broke it off, but Let's get this out of the way. Get the wheels out of the way. What do we want to do? What I want to do is um, take a little sandpaper and kind of clean up some of the rust here where it's going to go on the Honda. And there goes my hat. Kind of windy. Switch it to this side. Let's get rid of some of that scaly rust. Okay, I'm going to put a little um, grease on this shaft I just used it for the blade here it is something like that put a dab there and a dab here that'll pop right into the uh, butterfly wings something like that a little grease will go a long way. Okay, so I'm ready. Glad I saved this axle. These uh, nuts go to that. Okay, how do we want to take this thing off? I guess push it back into place and I'll put it on its side. Carb up. There we go. It just uh, popped itself down. Can I take this thing off as it sits? I don't have to worry about the tab catching. Oh, I see the um, rusted tab. It, it broke off there. So, maybe I should have taken the wheels off first. Okay, we're going to reuse this one. Ian, let me... Let me get this one done. I'm all over the place today. Can't make up my mind. Take two steps forward and one back. Okay, that wheel's off and the axle's just flopping around because there's nothing to hold it. Hopefully... The, um, the the lengths and everything match up. 
Just kind of eyeball it. So the, the, the length of the steel plate here is the same. The um, axle length is the same. Down here, the length of this axle length is the same. So I think we're in good shape. If I was really ambitious with this thing off, I would um, spray paint this black. But I'm going to, I'm just going to keep plowing ahead. Keep walking in front of you guys. Same thing here. Take the butterflies. Butterfly wings. Gently pull up on the axle as I'm pushing the wings to the outside. Okay, that one's off. Same thing here. And there's our culprit. Broken off tab. You could probably buy these, but it looks like they're stamped into place, so it'd be difficult to replace this tab. I think you got to replace the whole axle because this side's pressed too. They have a, a machine that probably presses this flat. There's no way to separate this. Maybe grind it off pop off the bracket, change the tab, put it back on, and then um, weld the end of it. That'd be an option, but I doubt they sell the um, adjusting tabs separately. How does it compare with the new one? Looks like it might work. Kind of a little different system. This has got a little nipple on it. This has got a hole with a tab here. But what really matters is where this matches up with your plastic notches for the height adjustment. Okay, let's, let's start getting busy. I'll do something like this, keep my lever to the outside, put it on, and then make my adjustment. Okay, that grease really helped. It, it popped itself into place. While I have this side facing up, I'm going to throw a little bit of grease on it. put my wheel back on. Coat the shaft and then I like to put a little bit down here. It looks like my um, bushing here is pushed out a little bit. I'm going to tap that down. It looks like it's out a couple of millimeters. I just made it flush. Nothing like a 16 ounce hammer to help you in lawn mower repairs. Then I take a little bit of grease and put it on the back side of the nut here. Nine sixteenths, tighten this thing down. So this project's going well. If that tab lines up with the plastic notches, 
we're going to be in business, new blade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the hole lined up. Just what we needed. So we're gonna keep the same wheels. We're gonna keep the same plastic hatch here. And when my scrapper shows up, he's gonna get like half a pound of steel. Well, I'll throw this in. Maybe we'll have a pound combined the blade and the axle. Hey, it all adds up, right? Okay, let's let's keep plowing ahead with this. So that was good. Within a an hour of picking this thing up, we're we're nearly completed the restoration. Now it's just easy stuff, making it pretty, making sure Lawrence Carroll's shine is on this thing. It'll probably shine up pretty good. He says to use our Rust-Oleum Apple Red. It'll be a match for these red decks. I'm going to have to look for that at Lowe's next time I go in there. So not a bad uh, turnaround on the 2017 GCV 160 Lima Alpha Oscar. I think it's the uh, rest of the model number. Okay. So we rolling, 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 rolling. We're rolling. Okay, so what else do we got to do with this? Check the air filter. The ascent isn't plowing the ground, so I'm all happy. The only bad thing would be is if the um, adapter's bent. Now this is really, wow, really um, like wet, muddy dirt. It's not dry dirt. It seems to be kind of wet. Let me grab my air gun. I just want to blast this off temporarily so I can put it back on. I want to hear this thing run. If I, if I um, keep Mr. Snake on board, then I know it's going to be a smooth running machine. But if he bounces off again, then we got issues. And of course, I'll put a new filter on it when I ship it out the door. I just want to try it now. This guy had a really dusty yard or dirty yard. This thing is really, really dirty. Okay, let's put them all on here. Okay, I'm going to start the turd. Yeah. 
you didn't tell me about the plug wire. Damn it, you guys. I brought you out here for the sole purpose of reminding me what the heck is happening. The one little task I give you when you guys are messing it up. <clears throat> okay, here we got the Timu. I had ordered a double pack of air filters for the um, Husqvarna. Those came in. What the heck? I'm reading the uh, warning. To avoid danfer of suffocation. I wonder what the hell that means. Danger of suffocation. Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. It's not a toy. Okay, what else did I get? trying to see here a couple of flags I got a three by five um, chicken flag I thought that would be fun to fly it's a mr. cluck flag I'm getting so off track here let me just see if mr. cluck's gonna be jealous Oh, that's a big clucking flag. Are you kidding me? That's a clucking monster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're clucking. Fly, Mr. Cluck. Fly. Okay, enough screwing around. What do we got to do? Let's start this turd. That's how you do it, kids and cadets. 20 bucks. Did I tell you what I paid for this? Yeah, see, I'm all screwed up today. My rhythm's all messed up. Hold on a minute. I don't know what's happening. Is it the full moon? We still got to discuss this shit down here. I got some iced coffee. I got to, I just got to take a break here and, and have some coffee. Okay, so he brought all this crud out. <clears throat> he showed me the <clears throat> mower, and I s saw the vibration and the rear wheel fiasco, and I thought, oh, 20 for this, and I thought, I don't really mess with the two-cycle crap, but they, they look new. I could probably look at dates on these. He didn't even tell me on this on the phone. So I says, I'll give you five each for the <clears throat> two-cycle stuff. So 15, 20 and 15, he says, can you do 20 on this stuff, 40 for everything? And so I did. So I upped the price on the two-cycle stuff. 20 for this batch and 20 for the Honda. So we got a Poulon Pro, we got a Bolins and Murray. So somebody asked me about a hedger last year. Some young kid wanted to start a business. He wanted to know if I had a hedger. I probably won't be able to find him now, but I could advertise this thing. Oh, somebody's goobered it up with some silicone, so that means the rubber grommets dried out. It doesn't look too old. That's a strange place to put the primer bulb down in there, wouldn't you think? I've been sitting outside. It's got some moisture. BL110. I don't know what 103 means. Could they have um, 
shift it down in a moving company. Sometimes they put little blue tape on stuff so they can keep it organized. 2020 on this thing, so it's not very old. Eighth month, 2020. And it's already pushed to the curb. Why? We'll go, maybe go through these things. Curb shaft. The straight shaft is the Murray. Looks like this one's more well used. Yep. Z uh, zero 09 of 2015. So this is older. And um, that's our issue. Both the few lines are, are missing. One's detached. This one totally rotted away. So that's an easy fix on that one. What year is the pool on? I didn't want to give too much for these just in case I don't repair them. Okay, I see something down there. China. Husqvarna. Oh, Husqvarna Outdoor Products. Oh, that's interesting. 2018. Emission control for 2018. Blah, blah, blah. In compliance for the first 20, uh, 50 hours. So, 2018. This uh, Bolens is the newest machine with a 20, 2020 production date. So, let me know what you think. 20 bucks for this crap. Ola 2017 GCD 160. Which we rectified right away with... An axle from a dead machine last year. I saved the front and back, gave the uh, deck to the scrapper, and I think I used the engine on another project. So we got a um, axle out of that, and we put a another blade on it. <clears throat> yeah, this this side took a beating. I could I could hoe. This would this would make a good hoe. Ho ho. Santa said ho ho. Okay, enough screwing around. I'm done with you guys almost. Still getting you guys um trickling in with your Emails for the Zippy Tie Certified. You guys are awesome. You've been emailing me and I've been shipping these out on a daily basis. Mailman's probably wondering what in the hell I'm doing. If you want to be certified, email me. Tommy period time at Yahoo. In order to be certified, you have to swear and affirm you can take the flat end of a zippy tie, like so, and put it through the square end. If you're good enough to do that and pull out all the slack as necessary, you're zip tie certified. Email me and I'll christen you with one of these stickers. This is my show and tell sticker, and it's getting kind of beat up here in the the weather. But I'll send you a fresh, crisp one. It won't be a beat up one. So tell me what you think, you guys. Quick restification here. Spent twenty on this, and then uh, twenty for these three fine beauties. Appreciate you guys coming out looking at this junk. What I'll do is get another filter for this and maybe look at the oil one more time. Adjust the handle because I'm not a midget. I mean, small person, underdeveloped person, shrimp, dwarf. I'm not one of those. 
there's a little circuit going around. My my buddy likes to go and, and watch uh, midget wrestling. At least they used to come every year to the um, fairgrounds. Maybe people got too wiggy about it and, and they stopped, but they would um, have wrestling matches. This whole crew of dwarfs would travel to different armories and um, VFW halls, that kind of thing. You guys ever go to a dwarf wrestling match? So the 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 um, oil's at the right level. Once you unscrew it, you just put it on top of the threads and then take your reading. So it's right up to the um, hash mark, so we're good. Um, this is borderline between change out and, and let it go. Probably change it out with some fresh oil. Get my um, Rust-Oleum, take care of this little section here, and I think we'll have a nice selling machine. I could look for a bag. Maybe make it a complete unit, self-propelled with a bag. I've gotten um, bags from the scrappers. They find them on the road, the side of the road, just bags. People get tired of looking at them. They throw them out to the street. They've been in the garage unused. So I tell all of them, I say, you see any single bags? Take them and I'll, I'll buy them. I think I um, give five bucks for them normally. If they bring me a mower and some bags, I try to give them five each to really motivate them to get me the bag because it really increases the um, value of the mowers I'm selling if I can throw a bag in with the deal. Okay, I'm officially done. Have a good day. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Email me if you want to be certified. And tell me what you think. 20 and 20. Would you have bought this stuff for 40? The three two cycle turds plus this Honda turd. Would you have spent 40? Have a nice day. Always appreciate you guys coming out, checking out my channel. You're awesome for doing so. Keep up the strong work. I think I'm going to go to my flagpole right now and start clucking. I'm going to put him up now. We got a nice breeze. He's going to start clucking in the wind. Have a nice day.